diversity. Who's California? Our California. Who's California? Our California. One, stop cuts to public education. Reverse the fee hikes, layoffs, and cuts in all levels of public education to at least their 2009 levels. Two, refund education and public services by taxing the rich and the corporations. Three, fully implement affirmative action to stop the resegregation of public education. Overturn Prop 209. Respect free speech and free assembly. No use of force against protesters on school sites. Yeah! So what's it gonna be? Are you with the 1% or are you with the 99%? Yeah! I'm here today representing the Latino community, the queer community right here. Can I get it? must have a tax on the rich. The rich have been getting away. Yeah. Tax the rich. Yeah. My mom's a single mom. I'm from Fresno, California. I don't have $100,000 in my pocket just laying around. And when I came here, I expected to see the police support us and see this movement just rise up. And instead, I saw the police protecting the people who did this to me, who are taking away my education and who are taking away your education. to know that this system, the system I had so much faith in, the system that I wanted to become a part of, was fucking me over hard. <laughs> and they weren't even being honest about it. They weren't even saying, we're going to make you pay. They're saying, there's no money. There's money. There's plenty of money. I just want to say, the regions aren't the only ones who are scared right now. The 1% is peeing in their pants because we are just, we just keep growing. Here's UC tuition has been raised, what, 300%. It's gotta stop, we gotta fight back, we gotta keep fighting. I can't do it, I have to take out loans. And I'm only a sophomore, and I already have over $15,000 that I owe to the government. And that is fucked up. That is fucked up. Do we have dreams? We have dreams. Don't let the 1% take away your dreams. Don't let the 1% take away your dreams. Fight for your dreams. Fight for your dreams. What does that happen? What's next? Not only do you have an overabundance of school loans and whatnot, but medical bills, and that is not okay. And I just want to point out that 99% of us, okay, if it wasn't for us, there would be no 1%. So like everyone has said out here, we're not puppets. We're no longer under the fingernails, the thumbs of the government. We are the fucking people of fucking America and California. So everyone out there fucking rage. My mother's a domestic worker. So, um, we live off of a $9,000 a year uh, salary, and um, I cannot afford for these, like all of us, I cannot afford for these hikes to continue to grow, and I'm glad we're all here today fighting for this, and woo, keep it going, you guys! And I am going to school to make a difference in the world as well, and um, one of the things I'm fighting for is the environment. I really love... I, I, we gotta fight for our earth, we gotta fight for the people that live on this earth. So, I'm just uh, here in solidarity. I have what I like to think is a modest dream. My dream is to work hard and do my best and just to have a stable life and to live and to love and to be me. This sort of dream because of the budget, because there are gonna be a lot of people who cannot have that dream. And it is such a modest dream, that should not be unattainable. Think about what the 1% has done. They sent us to war for no good reason, mostly because they profiteered from it. They've taken away health care, they've taken away education, they've taken away our homes. We are at the same time in the belly of the beast. And, we, and while we're talking about, you know, education, which is so powerful, which, which we need so much, you know, there's, there's, uh, there's so many more things going on, not only here in the U.S., 
but throughout throughout the world. You know, there's Occupy Solidarity movements throughout the world.